Hi everyone! So I wanted to make this video because I've seen a lot of discussions and comments around spandex and people wanting to avoid spandex or complaining that it's very difficult to find clothing without spandex. Now spandex is definitely not good for the environment, but that small percent can actually have a lot of benefits when it comes to your clothing. I think it's both a terrible and wonderful thing and I'm going to explain why and why I actually look for it in a lot of clothing. So first of all, spandex is also called elastane or lycra and it is a stretchy fiber that is blended into fabrics. It's made from petrochemicals, the process to make it can be pretty toxic and energy intensive, and also because it's a plastic, it doesn't biodegrade. So these all seem like pretty bad things, so why would we want it in our clothing? Spandex or elastane actually has a pretty important role when it comes to clothing, especially fitted clothing. It pulls the fibers back together after they've been stretched out so that the clothes retain their shape. Because we're always moving, we stretch out our clothes. A great example of this is our elbows. When we bend our elbow, the fabric is really stretching across that point to accommodate it. And especially with knit fabrics, they already have some stretch to it. So they need something to help them kind of pull that back together. Now generally we'll still get a little bit of extra bulging in elbows and knees, but something like elastane really helps with pulling that back together. And this is especially important with fitted garments. We don't want bulgy, saggy, misshapen clothes after after only a couple wears. Another example of this is the long t-shirt dress I have. Now this is 100% cotton so it has no spandex or elastane and it doesn't really need it because it is a big loose fitting garment, it's not at all cut to the body, but I do have to be careful when I sit and make sure that the fabric is loose around my knees because if it's tight and kind of stretching over my knees then when I stand up I'll have two bulges in the fabric where my knees were and because there's no spandex or elastane there's nothing to kind of pull that back into shape. Now with this dress it's not much of a problem because it is so loose I just have to adjust it a little bit, but you can see how this could be a problem with garments that are pretty fitted and then you sit down and all of a sudden you have, you know, a big saggy bum and saggy elbows and saggy knees. So the amount that fabric returns back to its original shape is called fabric retention. And this becomes very important when you're designing clothes. When I was an intern actually in a fashion company, I spent a ton of my time testing fabric retention. So we would take fabric samples, cut them out to a specific size, stretch them out, let them sit and go back, and then measure if they actually went back all the way or a percentage of the way. And this is really important for designers because if they're designing a really fitted piece, they need something with really good fabric retention. Now, if you really want to avoid elastane, it's it's best to stick with loose fitting garments and also go for more woven materials instead of knit materials because they'll retain their shape better. Now oftentimes washing will put the fabric back to the way it was, which is great, but that won't last forever. It'll generally go back less and less. A lot of my clothes I don't want to have to wash after every wear, but if I have to wash it to kind of reset the fabric, then I'm wasting a lot more energy and just washing clothes unnecessarily. So essentially without spandex, we would have clothes that stretch out very easily with really big bulges around knees and elbows and anywhere that bends. We would have to wash clothes after every single wear and we would also have to replace them a lot more frequently because they would just look really worn out a lot quicker. The reason it's so difficult to find clothing without elastane, especially when it comes to knit materials, is because companies don't want to make a product that gets stretched out pretty quickly because then they'll have a lot of unhappy customers. For me, longevity and quality are incredibly important factors when it comes to looking for clothing and especially if I'm spending more money on something, I want it to be something that's going to last. So while spandex does improve the wear and longevity of our clothes, it also comes with another set of problems because as a fiber, it breaks down really quickly, especially with heat. So if you're washing your clothes with hot water and especially drying your clothes, you're breaking down those spandex fibers and that's why clothes that even have spandex get stretched out and bulgy and worn out quickly. Caring for your clothing properly is so important to how long they're gonna last. And I have a video more about clothing care, which I will link in the cards, but heat is especially damaging to your clothes. And a big part of that is because it does break down the elastane fibers. Basically, it's kind of a terrible material. It's bad for the environment. It requires special care, but it's all that we have at least widely commercially available to help our clothes look good and last longer. So I totally understand why some people want to avoid it, but I also think that it is 
is kind of important to weigh the pros and cons and also really think about the functionality of the garment and whether it needs spandex or not because there definitely are clothes that don't need spandex but like I said, if you are looking for more fitted pieces, especially in like knit jersey materials, it's often pretty good to have the spandex. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear in the comments what your thoughts are on this spandex dilemma. Thank you for watching and thank you so much those of you supporting me on Patreon and I will see you in the next one.